boy, here we go. Time for me to click the little stream marker thing and uh, unmute myself, which... I was sort of kind of trying to time with the end of the song, but that took a little bit longer to come than I thought it would, but... Well, let's see what's gonna come next in the little playlist with yes, hello. To whosoever may be receiving this message, which I assume at this point means uh, default. I'm not sure if uh, default is gonna be able to hear this clearly, because I'm not sure if my little experiment that I've decided to do specifically for this uh, stream is gonna bear any noticeable fruits, but yes, I've uh, decided to drop the quality of the stream a little bit. I've dropped the. Um, the resolution down to about all to 480p basically, so to 16 by 9 that's about 852, 854. I'm pretty sure I used to have it at 854 when I uh, defined that manually in the old versions of OBS, but I'm pretty sure like the default option for like 16 by 9 480p on this version is 852 by 480. So I guess I have it to that, but apparently there's some kind of weird uh, upscaling, downscaling options going on with uh, that and, and the actual default that I have it at most of the time, which is um, 720p. And I also bumped the sort of average bitrate down to 1000 instead of 2000, which is what I usually have it as. So I don't know if that's going to make any kind of a difference, but I guess uh, I will probably find out over the course of this. Well, hello, another buddy. Welcome into the stream. Nice to see you here. I was, um, I assume that you've been playing Monster Hunter World, because I'm pretty sure that uh, I know you from Sarah's stream, so. How has uh, the Alatrion update been? Because I know that that dropped yesterday, but for some reason I haven't actually been able to play the game uh, basically the past couple of days, which. Based on. Uh, Basically, just educated users at this point, I would imagine, has to do with the fact that I haven't restarted my computer in a while. Had I been meaning to do that to see if that'll make it sort of stop sucking, but I don't know if, uh, you know, I'd actually start the game, but I haven't actually gotten around to doing that yet. I keep telling myself I'll do it, but, uh, I mean, I'm telling myself that I'll do it after this stream, but I suppose time will tell whether that's the case or not, but. I hope that the, uh, I've heard of very few whispers about the Alatrion update, but I hope that it's at least uh, some fun. don't intend to get to try it myself uh, for too long, but, but right now, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and bring us over to the main stream screen, which is this one here, which, uh, okay, yeah, there you go, there's your little chat window, which did actually update. I wasn't even sure if that was going to happen, because uh, I hadn't brought that up before at all. Well, at least not before um, or this point. Basically between me starting the stream and this point, that's what I meant to say. Not sure why I decided to articulate it in a different way, but... Probably just got to do with my tendency to fail to be able to articulate things in a comprehensible way. It's just a perk of who I am, I guess. I like to think of it as an endearing trait, I have no idea how, um... How delusional I'm being, basically, when I say that, but... I suppose, uh... What is this track? This is, uh, Bad Day from the Level Up OST, which is a Flash game OST that I... At the source... From, uh... Dark and hidden forgotten corner of the internet some time back for practical reasons, but I guess let's see if in the time that it takes for the game to start up that'll finish playing, it's a very short track, it's like just under two minutes. It's more than half over at this point. Let's also find out if, um, you know how I'm gonna have to capture this. Because I'm pretty sure that I tried software capture on this game on, uh, oh there you go, it's running, you can't see it yet. I tried software capture on this game and it didn't quite work for some reason. I can't capture Morrowind.exe with software captures, I have to use window capture instead. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it just showed up instantly after I said that. Hey, did you know that Todd Howard worked on this game? It's true. Okay, there it goes. And uh, it immediately went to a cook serve delicious track, which um, 
I would feel bad about having to skip mid track, so I'll just preemptively stop it before it actually begins. But yes, here we go. Let's see what the volume levels are like on this, because, uh, you know, because of my horrible sleep cycle shenanigans that I've had, I don't think I've streamed anything between, uh, like, last Thursday, actually, yeah, one week ago, when I streamed this for the first time, yeah, and, uh, today. So I would like to assume that the same settings that I used, uh, well, I know for a fact that the same settings that I, uh, used for then are the same settings that I'm using now, so I hope that those settings were good enough, because that's what we're going with. There we go. That's probably a decent enough way of articulating that, so here we go. Can't see the cursor right here again. Uh, last time, you know, previously on Morrowind, we are John Morrowind. I need to save the world. We were in the imminent death save file. I need to move a few things around so I'm not, like, horribly hunched over like I am right now. This over here, and let me put this over here and uh, sit back a little bit. That is much better. Okay. Uh, let me tap out for a little bit so I can actually see this and this, and uh, move this down a little bit, and uh, as a result of me tapping out, you can see the tab effect, which shows that, uh, well, it shows me in third person, the indignity of it all. What was a subtitle, wasn't it? These fuckers talking. You can see that I've, uh, you know, succeeded in stealing uh, an assassin's armor at the end of the previous episode. There's this fucking guy. Hey, greetings. I wasn't meaning to talk to you, guard, but... I just kind of uh, came very intently power-walking in my general direction, but yes. I have reason to believe through Vox Populi that the, uh, the assassin gear is gonna make considerably... Oh god, this animation. Well, we went over this last time, I'm pretty sure. So we can do the crab walk, I guess, if we do this uh, in the right direction. Person view, but let's see. But I guess since uh, we went over a bunch of quests the first time that we streamed this, which was last time, and I think we pretty much cleared out everything that we could have done in uh, this place. And Jesus Christ, that dude over there, he like followed me out of the town when I uh, went to fight a mud crab. And I guess the mud crab respawned, but that guy never moved. But I'm pretty sure that if uh, that I went in that general direction for a bit, and that's where I found like the dead. Tax collector. Okay, let me remind myself of the drugs. Okay, so it's F to draw and sheath your weapon. Move in 100 feet of an NPC and you think you're trying to talk to them. It's only right or left, not alternating, yeah. But it seems to be working best with. Oh, well, there we go. We can now one shot mod crabs, I suppose. Let me remind myself how this works. Uh, yeah, is this dude actually finally going back to the town now? Because he's just been like standing out here for for days on end. <laughs> After he followed me because he did end up like kill stealing me with four mod crabs or something. Let's see. <laughs> so it's this thing for uh it's this button for for jumping. It's this button for interacting, it's space bar for interacting. I guess we'll take the crab meat. I don't know if I want to dispose of the corpse, but I guess I'm going to. Doesn't seem like a mod crab corpse would be uh, a huge deal, but... I mean, I thought this guy was going back to the town, but apparently he decided to uh, stop and sort of have a think in the middle of the river here. wonder if uh, that's going to do anything to his armor, but maybe he subscribes to the Mike Dawson School of uh, Meditation and introspection, so what am I to tell him what to do, but yes. We do have an objective that we've pretty much been neglecting entirely, which is to go find some dude uh, in a city that I think we can take the Silt Strider to get to quickly. There we go, we need to go to Valmora in Vardenfell district and report to Caius Crusades. I'm pretty sure we even got like a full set of directions to that place. Cologne's direction to Balmora, so... Uh, I think we're gonna take the road, because why would we want to skip out on any on-foot exploration in this game? I sure wouldn't. Let's see. Let's take this by steps. From Sidonin, leave the village by the north bridge, and follow the road east past the Silt Strider port. I'm guessing that... Uh, 
Yeah, okay, so it would be just turn right. Past the sales airport, what else? East, uh, the road, it's northeast, so the ridge and intersects the northwest, southeast road. Okay, turn left to the northwest and past the village of Pelagia on your right. I think we're going to Pelagia at first. Because uh, I have no reason not to go to Pelagia, because uh, it's going to be the same kind of deal, right? Even Hart and Balmora and... Pelagia and Vivek, which I think from what I've... Uh, Gleaned from the bits of like in game lore that we've seen so far. I think it's like a big city, but I guess we're not going there yet. Maybe we are. Maybe we'll end up going there somehow or another. But for now, let's see if we can make it to Pelagia. I guess we're just gonna stick to whatever it looks like road. Apparently, we can pay to ride the Silt Strider and you can basically get a very quick way to Balmora, I think, or at least somewhere closer to there, but... Why would we want to do that, as I said? Let's uh, go and experience incredible adventure at this walking speed. Is this a container? This looks like a big kind of hollow stump with Bungler's Bane. Hmm. I guess we have, we're not carrying any of this yet. Great speed. I think we're just gonna like leave these mushrooms alone because I don't I've been like spent a little bit of time picking mushrooms uh like the first time I tried to st uh, sort of uh, leave town for a little bit. And I don't think that was actually that fruitful, so I guess we're not gonna bother as much with that for the foreseeable future, but it's technically off the beaten path a little road that I've taken here, so let's stick to the dirt road. Hmm. I also just appreciate the whole scene. Let's hold on a second. Work in the road because I thought that the uh, description said that it's intersected and uh, not forked. I think that uh, that's quite what intersection means. Intersection would imply that there would be like an X crossing here, not a T shaped crossing, but. Guessing that's what they meant based on your context, so Sidonine is back there. Armok is also one of those. Uh, Ode, Evenheart. I guess Evenheart is over there, and all the other places are down that way. So 